Can't you just use this recent photo? Mm. <clears throat> All right. Here you go. Woohoo! Hello, my good friends. It's Roger once again. You know that Yale has finally relinquished control of non truth and allowed mud fossils to be seen. Hopes deleted. Harvard, however, is totally against reality, it appears. No! I sent them five years ago the DNA, the CAT scans, the soft tissues, the whole nine yards, over and over again, then again up 2017, and uh, that nobody's ever responded from Yale. Mud Fossil University has been harassing the Center for Astrophysics and Harvard with his emails. You may be asking yourself, why is he emailing pictures of rocks to a group that studies stars and planets? The answer to this is... I'm a dumbass. You know, I've talked to people at, yeah, at Harvard. Nobody's ever started anywhere. But Harvard, they originally talked to me and they told me that everything I said was correct. <laughs> Except that if I had read the books they read, I wouldn't be saying these things. I'm saying, I swear, that's a fact. No question whatsoever that was said to me. Harvard said this. You know, Harvard, that guy, Harvard, that answers these questions. You know, Harvard. And don't call me Shirley. Then they just stopped talking. They refused to answer the phone. They won't talk to me. They won't do anything. No responses whatsoever. You see it five times. I send them this. I send them, send them, send them. Nothing. Zero. Poor Mud Falls University, he's such a jilted lover. He just wants some reciprocation. He wants to know that his feelings are shared between him and Harvard, that guy Harvard. But he's just not getting anything. It's really sad. I so well, I made the ultimatum last offer today. If they don't respond, uh, as a matter of fact, here it is right here. <laughs> <laughs> I have submitted DNA CAT scans details on humanity's orange to you. You failed to respond for over five years. You should really take a few seconds, pause the video, and read this to yourself. Especially add the emphasis of the uppercase here. I have submitted DNA and CAT scans and details on humanity origin to you. It's so much fun. Give it a try. And I said, I'm going to expose this criminal activity. It's criminal activity, all of it is, because it's legal th that they work in the best interest of students. I feel bad for whoever has to read these emails at these major institutes of higher education, because you know this dude isn't isolated. They probably get tons of emails from all these kooks and whacks and crazy people throughout the world, letting them know that they, and only they, have found the truth of xyz part of reality god it must be a crap job they're refusing honest true scientific validated information that's a legal fiduciary failure well that's great that's just fucking great man now what the fuck are we supposed to do and i'm gonna pop them all on this oh. I, I ended up by saying that they're going to be rightfully disgraced this is the offer they have to say that I found the mud fossils and that they're now going to look into them. That's all I want. I don't care about giving, getting big credit for this. If you don't want big credit for this, then why is your first request for Harvard to acknowledge that you are the person that found these mud fossils? All I want to do is say, yes, guess what? We just discovered it. Yeah, it's okay. I'm, I'm okay with them going on about the uh, soft tissues even though I discovered them first. That has nothing to do with it. I want it seen. I don't want it swept under the carpet. Standing out here yelling rabble, rabble, rabble isn't going to help anything. But we don't know what else to do, Mayor. Rabble, 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 rabble. And Yale, I mean Harvard, they got origins of humanity. Can you imagine our origins and refuse to engage? I will restate this. The CFA in that email address refers to the Center for Astrophysics. They study the origin of stars and planets, not the origin of humans. Mud Fossil University is such a dumb fuck, you dumb fuck, he didn't bother to take the extra two seconds to figure out where he was sending his emails to. 
Disgraceful, absolutely disgraceful. This is the origins of humanity. Let's see what they have to say. Surprise, motherfucker. All right, this goes out today, uh, Harvard. Yale's already been out, and they, they have actually renamed their department to truly to truly say that well here's the, here's the paper they did pork chop sandwiches here's the paper they did this is this is Yale they came up and they said yes soft tissues fossilize absolutely and they talk about oxidation I, I don't have any problem with that soft tissues provide preserve in oxidative settings absolutely Mud Fossil University of course is blowing it out of his ass again. The Yale study, as he calls it, which I have linked below, unlike him, in no way, shape, or form validates any of his kooky ass ideas. To quote a blog post the lead author wrote on the subject, soft tissue such as cells, blood vessel fragments, nerve tubules, or fragments of extracellular matrix will more likely to be preserved in samples from oxidative environments, such as hematite-rich sandstone, shallow marine limestones, etc. Is it an interesting development in paleontology? Yes, definitely. Does this confirm that Mud Fossil University has a collection of giant toes? No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, 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 hell no. No! No! I refuse- No! Well, Harvard has lost its position in the world for sure. No! Yale has at least come around and said, yes, soft tissues are correct. We're going to change the name of geology to planetary sciences, and we're going to show that the Earth is covered with meat. I can't believe you have to be told this, but stop hitting your screen with that damn feather. I don't know what the opposite of ASMR is, but that sound is it. And we're going to show that the earth, and we're going to show that the earth, and we're going to show that the earth, and we're going to show that the earth. By now I am sure you're wondering why he constantly is bringing up Yale. Well, lucky for us, Mud Fossil University made a video on that subject as well. And there was much rejoicing. And I want to praise Yale University for realizing the Earth is nothing more than biology. Well, what? So they're changing the name of geology to planetary sciences to better represent the Earth as biology. Usually I would say, how the fuck are you making that jump in logic? But remember, this is the guy that thinks the rocks in his collection are actually the toes of gigantic titans. So it's probably not much of a jump for the, for him. Now, everybody knows that I've, you know, had a thing going on with Yale for at least eight years or so. They're not as important as me. I'm very important. They finally caved. <laughs> Okay, now don't laugh, because no, nothing is what they say it was, so keep an open mind. Yeah, obviously you know that this is the giant fish. Oh, fuck me. I've already covered his stupid-ass Morocco Atlas Mountains dragon and this random fish in the Sahara and his claims of Atlantis in previous videos. If you'd like to see what he's talking about in further detail, go to those videos. They not only have links to his originals, they also have refutations of his claims. I'm not looking to go at this again. I'm simply looking to move on from it, but naturally every video he does he needs to regurgitate and go over the same exact points time and time and time again. So we're just going to skip that stuff. F finally Yale did change the name of their university for the geology into, uh, where are you here? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're showing is biology. You sir are an idiot. And they say to Yale, change their name, see? to rename geology. They call it planetary sciences because this is, we're li literally living on a creature, on our creatures, massive creatures. Here we are again reading Mud Fossil's own source to show that he is wrong and a dumb asshole. In the article, which I link below, we read why Yale changed the name of the Department of Geology and Geophysics to the Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences. Quote, Department Chair David Bichovich, I don't know, said, 
recognizing how the field of earth sciences has evolved beyond classical geology and geophysics. The field now encompasses the study of the processes of and solution to climate change, he said. We investigate oceans, atmospheres, and ice sheets past, present, and future. The coevolution of earth and life and the deep inaccessible interior of our planet and how all these phenomena play out on other planets in our solar system and beyond. Oi, do you mind? I'm speechifying! It must be hard to read this text when you're so busy poking your damn monitor with a feather. And we're going to show that the Earth, and we're going to show that the Earth, and we're going to show that the Earth. And I'm going to tell you the truth, everything in space is creatures too, 100%. Lucky for him, Yale has expanded out into space, so I guess they'll verify that too for him.